Understanding Knee Pain, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to talk about a very common phrase that many people use, knee pain. Whether you're experiencing it yourself or you've heard someone else mention it, understanding what this phrase means can be very helpful. So, let's dive in and learn all about knee pain. The phrase, knee pain, is made up of two words, knee and pain. Knee, this is a part of your body. It is the joint between your thigh and your lower leg. Pain, this is a feeling you get when a part of your body hurts. It is uncomfortable and sometimes it can be very strong. When these two words come together, knee pain refers to a discomfort or a hurtful sensation in the knee area. Now that we know what knee pain means, let's look at how it can be used in sentences. 1. After running the marathon, Mark had severe knee pain. 2. Samantha needs to see a doctor because her knee pain is getting worse. In these examples, knee pain is used to describe a specific problem that someone is having. It tells us that the person is experiencing discomfort or pain in their knee. There are also some related phrases and vocabulary that can be helpful to understand. Knee injury. This is when the knee is hurt due to an accident or a specific incident. Chronic knee pain. This refers to knee pain that lasts for a long period of time. It is not just temporary. Acute knee pain. This is knee pain that happens suddenly and is usually very sharp and intense. Understanding these terms can help you have a better grasp of discussions related to knee pain. And that's it for today's video on knee pain. We hope that this explanation helps you understand what this phrase means and how it can be used. Remember, learning English is a journey, and you're doing great. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more English learning content. See you next time.